All right, these are a couple of auction emails, better than the last email that I read. This one just says it's from listener. He didn't put a name. She didn't put a name. Uh, your auction values on the website appear to be based on a $100 budget. Can you explain what listeners should do for a $200 budget? Do you just simply double it? Well, before before we answer, uh, yes, that's probably the easiest way to go about it. So we did our we started our auction yesterday, and uh, Ben Gretsch was uh, unaware of what budget we were working off of. So Saquon Barkley <laughs> was nominated, and it went from like twenty to twenty five to thirty, and all of a sudden Ben just dropped a fifty dollar bid. We were like, "Whoa, he really wants Barkley," <laughs> and we had to explain to him that we're only going off a hundred dollar budget. Um, oh, it would have yeah. been funny if he got him for 50 and he was like so pumped. And like, Actually, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the easiest way is just to double it. I would, yes. Um, maybe even add a little bit more to the top guys because there's still going to be $1 players. Uh, was Barkley the most expensive, by the way? Um, he went for 37 Probably. Yeah, I think he was. I know Kamara uh, yeah. and, and McCaffrey went for 34 Right. Uh, Zeke was probably right in that range. 34 also. All right, so so it was PPR league. Two running backs, two receivers, a flex, tight end, kicker, DST, and one quarterback. And 12 oh, I teams. Can't, I can't wait for you to rip the guy you usually rip for what he did at quarterback. George? <laughs> yeah. I have notes about George's team. What did I write about George's team? George ripped himself yesterday, so. Okay. Yeah, uh, he actually, I probably, oh, George has an elite quarterback and a tight end. But he sacrificed that wide receiver, too. He has Patrick Mahomes and Zach Ertz. His wide receivers are, are kind of brutal, but I, I like his team. He has Robert Woods, DK Metcalf, Nikhil Harry, Larry Fitzgerald. Golden Tate, I think, will be good, you know, as a flex or a wide receiver, too. Because he's got Mahomes, Ertz, Damian Williams, Carrion Johnson, Robert Woods to kind of anchor his team. Uh, but he also he drafted Mahomes, and then he took a $2 Baker Mayfield. You know, just for $2. I wouldn't normally say you should get Mahomes in Mayfield, but value well, yeah, value. Spending, maybe you can make a trade. Spending $18 at the quarterback position when you see the values of the other quarterbacks in this draft, that I think is the, is the mistake. Right. Um, all right, second question about auctions. Was but George Jerry was like, he, he even said about himself, he said, uh, I was the, what did he say, idiot who took, who spent way too much on quarterback. Like I said, oh, you got him for what, like 10 bucks? He goes, no, 16. Like, oh, Oof, wow. Uh, okay, so that yeah, Mahomes sixteen, Baker Mayfield. He got great value on Baker Mayfield, two bucks. Right. Second email about auctions is from Jerry in Annapolis, Maryland. Um, which players are you targeting most at their current auction value? The cheapest ones. I mean, anybody Not necessarily. You can get. It, I mean, for me, it is. No, that's. Uh, but I think what you mean is it's the, not the guys that go in the first 20 players. Yeah, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I don't think I nominated or I don't think I went after a player, um, you know, what I usually do. Like, I think it was like 30 players in. Uh, by the way, Andrew Luck missed practice today with a calf injury. Just uh, something to keep an eye on. We will. It's been lingering. Talk about that. Yeah, it's a lingering calf issue for Andrew Luck and calf issues. Do tend to linger. Luckily, it's July 30th. But definitely but this is this started in, in minicamp. All right, guys. So, jeez. All right. So, um, I'll, I'll say that se- discuss tomorrow. That second tier of uh, wide receivers, too. Evans and Keenan Allen, um, Brandon Cooks, that range of guys. Yeah, I got Evans. So, talk to me about uh, about the auction, the strategies you use. You better have a strategy when you when you do an auction. Uh, sorry, Heath. So, you know, were you able to stick to your strategies? How did it go? Uh, easily for me, I, I was you know very patient. The only thing that that I got ruined was uh, our our buddy Michael Kaiser uh, used my strategy to an extent against me because I I usually will always go kicker and defense first um, just to get those out of the way. And I mean I you know the the guys that we were in the room with they knew what I was doing. Um, I nominated the Bears and I said anybody wants to spend two dollars on the Bears go ahead. I ended up going for what four? I think so. Four dollars. You know so somebody. In my opinion, wasted money on the Bears. Now we have the Bears. Do you have it? I have them for two dollars. Do you have them for more? I think I have them for two. Okay, so um, I don't have a problem with you know if you want to get the best defense on paper going in for for two dollars. But in my opinion, that I'm I'm forcing you now to waste a dollar that you probably didn't want to. And the same thing if you end up doing that at kicker as well. So, um, but I I think for me it was just it was just being patient. And when I decided to go in and get somebody, I got DeAndre Hopkins at twenty eight dollars. Um, which was cheaper than, I think, a lot of the first-round picks. 
by comparison. Yeah. Cheaper than James Conner, who was twenty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Cheaper than the top four running backs. Uh, yeah. I think it was cheaper $5 than Devontae Adams. Cheaper. Yep. cheaper than Adams too. Um, and I think maybe cheaper than Julio. Oh no, Adams was a dollar less. Um, Julio was twenty seven. They were both a dollar less. So right, 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 right where he should go, I think. But um, I didn't but have a, to overpay. But a six dollar difference from the number four pick in the draft, basically like McCaffrey, Zeke, Kamara, to the number five Adams and Hopkins. That's you know, that's pretty significant. The running backs were valued much higher than than the guys right behind them, those wide mm -hmm. receivers right behind. Them. Yeah. And like Beckham went for $26, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take the $2 difference there. Patience is really important in auctions. Jamie's team ended up, I think, really good. Uh, Jameis Winston for a dollar. Running backs are Leonard Fournette and Marlon Mack. Wide receiver, two receivers in flex are DeAndre Hopkins, Keenan Allen, and Julian Edelman. I mean, that's obviously amazing. Delaney Walker at tight end. Justin Tucker in the Rams defense, and you're even strong at, at DST and kicker. On your bench, Rashad Penny, Daryl Henderson, Kalen Balaz, Justice Hill. You took a lot of bench running backs behind Fournette and Mack, and you have Deshaun Hamilton and Kenny Stills. I think it's, uh, your team really stood out to me as one of the better ones. So Two things that, that happened nice to book. me. Um, you know, O.J. Howard was uh, around a little bit longer, or, you know, wasn't a bid. Um, I probably should have gone maybe a dollar more. I was bidding with, uh, again, Michael Kaiser, who we had about the same amount of money at, at, at that point. Um, I was hoping to get OJ Howard. Um, another player that I wanted, I don't know, if, I, I know you were in on him, was Ingram. Was yep. Mark Ingram. Did you end up with him? No. Um, after getting those two running backs, I thought, okay, that was the one. I think it was him and Tevin Coleman. Those were the two guys. Maybe you got Coleman, I think. I got Coleman, yeah. So there, there were two guys where I was like, okay, if I can get this third back, I'll be really happy about my team. By that point, I had the three receivers. Um, I lost on Baker. Uh, I didn't want to spend $2 on a quarterback just seeing how the quarterbacks went. I didn't realize at that point that George had already hit Mahomes. I would have really yelled at him at that point. But um, I thought I was going to get Baker, too. So, you know, some things missed that I missed out on. I also wanted to get Emmanuel Sanders instead of Kenny Stills. I thought, let me sort of play the friendship strategy with, with Hamilton and, and Sanders. Um, we should probably at some point, uh, we got a chance to sort of circle back with Pete Prisco after his four stops. Um, he, he had some really good stuff about uh, the Broncos receivers, um, which I'll, I'll save for tomorrow. But um, uh, Hamilton, I think, you know, you, you can say maybe the arrow's pointing up a little bit. Oh, all right. So Jamie likes to be patient. He sort of does it for fun. I, I don't think you're going to say, hey, you should sit out like the first 30, 30 bids or whatever. But Jamie kind of likes well, to Well, I, 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 I'll give you an example. Like, you know, I mean, I, I think it's pretty clear how much I like Curtis Samuel. Um it got it, you know. I I wouldn't have spent. I think it went for five dollars, um, maybe four dollars. Wow. Uh, it was just a bidding up Jamie thing. It was it was it was four dollars. Um, but at that point, you know, I had already had those three receivers, and I needed to sort of focus a little bit more on on my running back depth, so I couldn't spend money on him. Um, I I honestly wasn't expecting to spend as much as I did on on Hopkins. You know, I think by the point I I jumped in, and I think I was the last person to jump in, and everybody stopped. All right, Heath, how did you manage your budget? I had a pretty actual strategy, Adam. It didn't nice. work the way that I hoped <laughs> it would. Um, and my team's fine. It's super boring. It's a playoff team that's not great. Um, but my plan was I wanted three very good wide receivers. I wanted Travis Kelsey or Ertz or Kittle. I ended up getting Kelsey for 22, which is what I have him Um for on my auction values he is my most expensive player and there is a lot of uh, a lot of value after him I think every other player other than my quarterback who was an end of the draft thing with Chris Towers being a jerk um, <laughs> is like three or four dollars less than what I have him for in my auction values my receivers are Brandon Cooks Mike Evans and Cooper Cup my quarterback is Lamar Jackson who I paid more for than uh, in um, Cam Newton I think Maybe. But just because it was More the end Baker. of the draft yep. and Chris threw another dollar on there and I had extra money to play with. Um, but then I've just got a ton of running back depth. Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman, Lamar Miller, Latavius Murray, Justin Jackson, Deion Lewis, Deontay Foreman, Edo Smith. It's funny because I, I yeah. think our our teams are very similar in, in certain regard. Your tight end is better. Right. I would say probably my starting running backs are better, but yes. I think we took a very similar approach of we both got three top end receivers. Right. Um, and then just, you know, sort of let's just throw a lot of money at, at, at the backfield um, on the bench. The, the, I, I, your, your, your 
receiver strategy is interesting because I was in the same boat essentially. Like once I got my three guys, I was like, I'm not going to really focus right. on that position. Well, I missed Didi because of that, yeah. At all, right? Um, just because, like, I for me, like you mentioned, Adam, I had Balaj, Penny, um, Balaj, Penny, and uh, and Henderson. I at that point I said, okay, I could probably get those three guys for about ten bucks, which I think is what happened. Um, and so I also wanted to try and get Royce Freeman too. Um, he went maybe a dollar or two more than I was willing to to, to spend on him, but. It just was once you lock up those three receivers, and, and I think you know if you want to look at Ben Gretch's team, he did a reverse. You know, <laughs> he's got like eleven receivers. Um, it, it it just you know it it's an easy position I think to you know find guys if you have stars that you feel comfortable with, and and in Heath's case and mine as well, I think we both accomplished that. And then it's just you know the the backfields were a little bit not necessarily unsettled because I think you can make a strong case for Freeman and Coleman. And in my case, you know for Mac and and Fournette, and this is PPR, so it's a little bit different for those guys. But you want to kind of, you know, lock up a lot of those potential up uh, guys that have a lot of upside. You know, I think we both did that. Yeah, and and Michael Kaiser, who you keep referencing, his team's he, great. He's uh, you don't like his team? his team. Well, I think the running backs have a lot of downside. I guess, um, but yeah, his team's very interesting. Carson Wentz. I'll get. I'll save the running backs for last. Carson Wentz, Michael Thomas, Adam Thielen, and Amari Cooper. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and then like that, and Allen like, Robinson. But, yeah, but that's <laughs> the thing. Like I, I think he didn't need to get Allen Robinson. He didn't need to spend eight bucks on Allen Robinson and Curtis Samuel. And Didi Westbrook. I don't know. Didi Westbrook. He was just stealing him from and Jamie and I because he knew he wanted them. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, so when this... you have Michael Thomas, Adam Thielen, and Amari Cooper, you don't need to spend five or four on Samuel. Three on Robinson and three on Dee Westbrook. Right. You could have used that money, in addition to what you already spent on like Philip Lindsay, to get a to get Aaron Jones. You know. So, um, but he could have had an amazing team. His running backs are Philip Lindsay and Tariq Cohen. Could work out great. Really could. He also has Chris Carson on the bench and, and Peyton, Peyton Barber. Barber. Yeah. No. He, yeah, I he, think he I, could have a really damn good. I, team. I, I'm I'm in total agreement with you. Like the things he could have changed. You know. But again, if you just look at it from what his starting lineup is. He could have the best starting lineup in this league if Lindsey and Cohen or Carson, one of those three guys, or two of those three guys, excuse me, are are a semblance of what they were a year ago. Because Thomas, Thielen, and Cooper as his two receivers and flex and Howard at the tight end spot with Wentz, I mean, that's sick. I think this draft, this auction is a little skewed because the quarterback values were so low. So it seems like a lot of teams were able to get three really good receivers and good running backs and a good quarterback. It's just, maybe you could, maybe you can do that. Uh, but I like, I'm looking at Jamie's team. Like, look at all these teams. Like Dave's team. I love, I, I, I thought yeah, that Dave had a good team too. Well, the and the, teams there are, are really a couple good. of teams that you can see why, um, several people have a really good team. Well, let's there talk a about teams Will's that have a lot of not, not very good players on them. Well, just before you Will's. go to Will's team, I just want to bring up one more. Yeah. So uh, Casey Kiernan, one of our hosts here at, at CBS Sports HQ, it was his first auction. And a lot of people do auctions for the first time. You know, uh, uh, Dave was putting together his draft and, you know, a couple of people bailed at the last minute. So he went around asking people and, you know, they said they'll, they'll try. And so Casey went all in on three guys early. $34 on oh. Zeke, $27 on Juju, $22 on Dalvin Cook. Those were his first three buys. That's what? Fifty six and twenty seven is eighty three dollars. Yeah, that's his budget. So he's he's done at that point, and he did it what within the first right. Well, and then bids? he was the one that ended up with Kyler, Kyler too. Oh, and Kyler at four dollars. So uh, what I say eighty three. So that's eighty seven dollars on on his quarterback, two running backs, and one receiver, and then three dollars on Dante Moncrief, who should be a dollar player. Yeah. So you know he uh, <laughs> right now, if if you just take his lineup as it was filled. His starting receivers and flex, he better love Ben Roethlisberger, is Juju Smith-Schuster, Dante Moncrief, and James Washington. <laughs> like, that that's what his lineup, awesome. as as it auto-filled, you know, because the way that our system does it. But, you know, again, it's just a matter of how much do you allocate for guys early, and then right. you got to find a lot of dollar players that you love. Yeah, I, I'm pretty interested in this strategy. I do think the execution could have been better. Um Look, if Kyler Murray's great, sure, but like Jameis Winston for a dollar instead of Kyler Murray for four dollars. If you're going with three expensive players, Zeke, Dalvin Cook, and Juju Smith Schuster for about what do we say, eighty three percent of your budget, mm-hmm. uh, then you probably are getting a dollar quarterback and a dollar tight end. And I think tight end he did great. He got Hooper and Reed. 
So yeah. he's fine there. Yeah. He actually got Philip Rivers for a dollar. I don't know why, but probably just he, you know, he's probably just fed up with watching all these players go and he just has to, you know, bid on somebody. But you gotta go dollar kicker defense, dollar tight end, dollar quarterback, mm-hmm. three studs. And then you gotta get some guys that you really think have sleeper potential to be starters. Like, you know, uh, what'd you get Foreman for? It was a dollar, two dollars? Dollar two, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, got a guy like that, a guy like, you know, Kiki Q T Deshaun Hamilton, you know, um Well he's the guy that should have gotten DD for three. Lamar Miller and Devontae Foreman, Lamar Miller and and Deontay Foreman, excuse me, both went for $2. So I actually do think that you can make this work. And the other thing is like, you know, Ben talked about this last week. Don't be too obsessed with what your team looks like on draft day. It's going to look a lot different throughout the year. You anchor your team with three studs that are never coming out of your lineup, save for bye weeks, and you're good on waivers. I do think it could work. Will's team was a little bit different. He spent... 68% 68% of his budget on two players and nobody else was more than $7. And that was Sterling Shepard. That seems kind of expensive for Sterling Shepard. Um, but Cam Newton's his quarterback. He is Alvin Kamara and Christian McCaffrey. I mean, it's a PPR league and he may have 200 catches right there from his running back. Mm-hmm. He has Jarvis Landry at wide receiver and Corey Davis is his other starting wide receiver. Do we like Sterling Shepard better than Corey Davis? Yes. Now. You, yes. You know what? Corey Davis and Sterling Shepard are his wide receiver and his flex. Let's say that. And then he also has Geronimo Allison. Actually, I, I kind of like Will's team. Am I crazy for liking Will's team? Let me read it again. Cam Newton, Kamara and McCaffrey, Jarvis Landry, Sterling Shepard, Corey Davis, or Geronimo Allison at flex. Uh, Vance McDonald at tight end. And then LaShawn McCoy, Antonio Callaway. The fact that, like, well, I guess you all know I like Geronimo Allison a lot. But mm-hmm. I think this worked. I think this is a better execution of spending a ton of money on a few players. Uh, he only did I, it on I, two. I really like he, he he did a you know different approach. He spent you know sixty eight percent of his budget as opposed to eighty three. Now, the the yeah. the numbers that you'll see toward the uh, on his bench, you know, once Dave publishes the results, Sterling Shepard for seven dollars. That was uh at the end, you know, when he had money to right. spend. Oh right, um, because right. Because he missed out on some guys, you know, throughout the course. He spent five dollars on Royce Freeman. If he spends those twelve dollars elsewhere, you know, like. I think, for example, if he takes those twelve dollars and he gets Edelman for ten or, or for twelve, like I got Edelman for ten, put Edelman at the top of that receiving core. Take out Shepard, put in Edelman, put in a dollar running back. It's a much better roster. And right, I'm just guys, using Edelman as an example. The... I think Chris, he, uh, Dave got Chris Godwin for like nine. Or you, know? you can look at Ben's roster and find like eight different receivers <laughs> right. that Will should have drafted. Right. 